questions now about how beach towns are protecting their shores after images like this sharks hunting fish near the Hamptons. And there has been a recent surge in sightings at Cape Cod with one politician recommending dramatic action. ABC's Eva Pilgrim is here with the story. Good morning, Eva. Good morning, George. It's not what anyone wants to see in the water with them at the beach. That fin sticking out. Fatal shark attacks are rare, but recent great white shark encounters have some wanting to take drastic measures to keep people safe. This morning, a controversial proposal in Massachusetts to protect packed end of summer beaches from sharks prompted in part by two close encounters just this week. Monday, just feet from swimmers on this Cape Cod beach, a great white shark was caught on tape attacking a seal. Patrick! Listen as the beachgoers panic, screaming, running out of the water. I heard a lot of screaming and yelling. Then yesterday, another shark. There's my board. There's the teeth. Taking a bite out of this paddleboard at a beach a few miles away. The man unharmed by the shark. It actually launched him in the air. He got right back up on his paddleboard and paddled into the shore. Both beaches briefly closed, but for some, the encounters too close for comfort, coming after a summer filled with terrifying images of beachgoers getting uncomfortably close to the endangered predators. In May, dozens of great whites surrounding a paddleboard in California. We we're paddleboarding next to approximately 15 great white sharks. In Cape Cod, a county official saying it is only a matter of time before someone's child is killed and proposing a controversial strategy to mitigate the threat. His plan? To toss baited drum lines near beach destinations using hooks to catch and kill them. The backlash? Fierce. Experts saying the idea is ill-considered, indiscriminate, and will not influence beach safety. Now, even though it freaks us out, scientists say that sharks being in the area is actually a sign of a healthy ecosystem. They're there to feed, not on us, but on the seals. And in both of those cases in Massachusetts, there were seals in the water nearby. That explains it, Eva. Thanks very much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.